Hello and welcome to this rCloud video tutorial on loading data, or in other words, getting data into rCloud and coding the path or directory location of the data. There are many methods of getting data into rCloud, but in this video we are going to go through the four most basic methods which are loading data into your home directory, loading data into a specific notebook, creating an rCloud asset, and I'm going to show you two ways to do that, and using data from another user's directory. All these methods are described in an R Cloud sample notebook under the basic functionality section. Once you've mastered loading data, you can also view our other data sample notebooks, which include reading data from a URL and using XML data. So first I'm going to show you how to load data into your home directory. Using the rCloud File Upload Graphic User Interface, or File Upload GUI, located in the lower left corner, I'm going to select a file from my desktop and click the blue Upload button. I'm not going to tick the Upload to Notebook box. This is talked about in the next method. Once the data has loaded, you can verify it is in your home directory using a standard R function combined with the rcloud API rcloud.home. I then create a handle to the data, again combining R programming with rcloud API. In this example, I am using the R function read.csv and specifying the path to my file using the rcloud function rcloud.home. Okay, moving on to the next method is loading data directly into an rCloud notebook. It is very similar to the last method, except now we are going to tick the Upload to Notebook box in the file Upload GUI. It is important to note that the public instance, which I am using right now, has a 750 kilobyte file size limit. Using this method, you can see that the data has been loaded into the rCloud asset section. Ticking the Upload to Notebook box creates an rCloud asset. To get a handle on this asset, we use the rcloud API rcloud.get.asset. We then use standard R programming to process the data. Now we are going to go over two other methods of creating rcloud assets. The first is by dragging and dropping a file to the asset panel, and the second is by manually inputting data as an rcloud asset. Here I am using my mouse to select a file and then dragging it to the rcloud asset panel until the drop file to asset appears. I create a handle and process the data the same way as the previous method, or in other words by using rcloud get asset combined with R programming read.table. The next method of creating an rCloud asset is by manually inputting data. To accomplish this, you first want to click the tab New Asset in the Asset section. You have to give your new asset a name. In this case, I am using the Play Tennis dataset I have already copied to my clipboard. Since it is comma delimited, I am going to use the extension .csv. I then paste the data into this tab and process it the same way as in the previous examples using rcloud API and R programming. The last method I'm going to detail is loading data from another user's directory. In this example, I'm assuming you know which user has the data you are going to use. In this case, the user is named Calucolor. But you could use the search panel to find data, for example, or if you have forked a notebook from another user, you would want to specify the path to their directory. 
So first I'm going to show you that the data is not in my directory by using the method we have used previously by listing files in my home directory. Now I'm going to create a handle to the data I'm interested in using the rcloud API rcloud.home, but I'm also going to specify that the user equals Caliacolor. The rest is standard R programming. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos and sample notebooks or just search terms to find other examples.